it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 22nd. So we're just gonna see what comes up for, and you know the timing is fluid, so keep that in mind. What do we have for around the 22nd? Could be any time from, from maybe the next 24 hours. I don't know. Could be next 48. Could be a week from now. Whatever. What do we have for a message today? Ooh, King of Wands reversed. Nine of Cups. No, the King of Wands in reverse is somebody that's usually angry, upset in some way. Could be angry and upset, not taking any action or no desire, no drive, no ambition. There's lack of ambition. Um, but I feel like somebody could be overdoing it. Somebody may be overdoing it. Now, this Nine of Cups is typically an individual that has it all, you know. Very, very smug, very, very cocky. Um, but there's some sort of discontent with that King of Wands reversed. Let me just focus this so you can see a little better. There's some sort of, uh, I don't know, conceitedness with these two cards. we got somebody here that is conceited. Now, we have a wounded warrior here who is very, very strong, who has been strong, has fought a lot of battles, but it's time for closure, and I say that it's time of closure, a time for closure, because we got two nines here. Nines are about closure, something coming to an end, so something is coming to an end. I feel like uh, somebody has come a long way. They have a lot of doubt and fear in their head, and, and and they're ready. It feels like they're they're ready, but there's still some sort of fear because this is fear as well, which is interesting. This person has a lot, has obtained a lot, but now they're growing weary. They're overwhelmed. Somebody's definitely overwhelmed by their current circumstances. Maybe trying to do too much. Their health may be impacted. Somebody's health is impacted. There's impulsive energy here. And unreasonable. Somebody is unreasonable. Very, very stubborn. Somebody very stubborn. We could be dealing with a fire sign by the looks of things. Pisces. <laughs> Pisces. Well, I was looking at the cups. I'm sorry. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for the Nine of Cups. And then Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the wands but I happen to be looking right at that so we definitely have somebody here that it, they could be fearful to take action um, somebody's not happy I feel like we have somebody here that's angry There's a lot of doubt and fear this is doubt and fear this is angry lack of confidence nine of cups there that is a wish a wish card so somebody may be wishing for something and that's like another I don't know ace of wands one more chance so somebody may have one more chance hoping for one more chance hmm. now this is angry uh, facing life challenges somebody is facing some challenges right now some life challenges. They may not be happy at all. There's some sort of being unreasonable. Now the Wheel of Fortune reverse is a setback. It's bad luck. It's bad luck. It's bad timing. It's going backwards. It's going back. Somebody may be uh, going back to something. Um, it's not over. Something isn't over yet. Clinging to control. Somebody is clinging to control. They're they're very. They don't like to give up control. You know, maybe maybe we have somebody here that is very prideful. They're very very prideful and they don't want to give up 
give up their, you know, what's that fo uh, uh, that foolish pride, another love lost up to fruit foolish pride, that kind of thing. There is there is pride here. There's definitely some pride here, and this is a this is a loss. Okay, the wheel of fortune reverse is a loss of, of perhaps something that was meant to be, but it was a lesson. So it's interesting. Now the wheel of fortune reversed is a delay. Okay, somebody keeps repeating. They keep repeating the same mistakes, and it's because of their. Uh, it looks like ego, okay? It looks like conceitedness. Somebody's conceitedness is causing them to repeat the same mistakes over and over and over again. There's a need to be gentle. Somebody needs some somebody to be gentle. There's some sort of determination here, though, with that Nine of Wands. So somebody is determined. They're determined to get what they want with that Nine of Cups. This is somebody who is very determined to succeed by the looks of things, but they're angry right now. Something may be haunting them with that Wheel of Fortune reversed. Something from the past, maybe. Maybe a past mistake is haunting them. Something isn't working out. Ooh, Page of Cups. Now, Page of Cups is a welcome message. That's a message. It's a loving message. Um, a good message is coming. So somebody is going to be receiving a message that does make them happy. But... It feels as though they're they're having a hard time seeing something clearly because of that King of Wands reversed. That's almost like unreasonable. It's greedy. It's uh, not very confident. Angry for some. Somebody's angry. They're upset. Something about feelings because of that Page of Cups. Somebody is receiving some news, some unexpected news that makes them happy, but maybe it's just confused or fearful. Okay, it could be fearful. It's definitely emotional because of the Page of Cups. And emotions, you know, can bring about anger, okay, when you don't know how to handle your emotions. It could be from somebody from the past with that Wheel of Fortune reverse. Somebody may receive a message from somebody from the past. You know, and it makes them really happy by the looks of things with the Nine of Cups and the Page of Cups. It makes them, it's a, it makes them really happy, but they have a lot of doubt and fear in their head that, uh, I don't know. What do they have doubt and fear about? Mm, a new beginning about growth. This is a new beginning. This is a breakthrough. This is a new day. Okay. This is a fresh start. Um, so there is an opportunity for happiness here. There is. Because this is the sun card. This is happy. It's for love. And sun is a card of love. So somebody is doubting that there's another, because there's one more chance with that one in his hand, that wand for growth. This, this is an exciting opportunity. There is one more chance, whatever that means. There is one more chance. I hate to keep saying that. But this, this Wheel of Fortune, something is stuck. Somebody is stuck. They're stuck. Resisting. Resisting. They are resisting a change. But this is a new day. This is a breakthrough. This is a new exciting opportunity. It really is. We have a new beginning here. There could even be news of a child if somebody isn't, you know thinking they're pregnant or whatever there could be news of a child there is some sort of positive news that is coming I feel like uh, happy news is coming okay 
Um, I think it's unexpected. I think it's very unexpected. So somebody has been avoiding confrontation. They've been protecting themselves. They've been uh, in, involved in some sort of false sense of security. Guess knees coming. <coughs> excuse me. I have to hold my stomach when I sneeze. So excuse me. Um, anyhow. It's a false sense of security. Somebody has been avoiding change. They have. They've been avoiding change. They've been avoiding chaos. They've been avoiding upward, but they can't avoid it anymore because they're looking at something that makes them very, very happy. I don't know if it's a happy message or whatever, but that tower card reverse is avoiding. Somebody has been avoiding disruption but they can't avoid it anymore. They can't. You've, you've reached the point where you can't avoid it. There's a challenge. Somebody is, is being faced with some sort of challenge. And it's facing, it's facing their falsities, right? It's facing their... false sense of security. Somebody has been holding on to a false sense of security that has made them angry. Somebody's angry. I think there's going to be a tower moment as well because you can't avoid it anymore. There's going to be an uproar. There's going to be a clash. There's going to be a disruption. I don't know if it comes because of a message. There could be a message, you know, that uh, causes an uproar. Okay. It causes an absolute uproar, but it breaks somebody free because the sun card is freedom. That's freedom. Freedom from a false sense of security. Freedom from a false foundation. Somebody is being broken free. And this was with uh, a situation that wasn't meant to be because of that wheel of fortune is there. And we have, a, we have an individual that is sick of being controlled because there's control here. Somebody has been under another person's control. And I think there's about to be an uproar that causes some sort of chaos. And, uh, you know, this is like that nine of wands. Is, is an, it's like a vision because wands are visions. So somebody may get this vision, this desire for something new. They have this wish for sure with that nine of cups. And happiness, wishing, hoping for happiness. Somebody is wishing and hoping for happiness. And I think they get a message that makes them happy and it and but on the other hand it causes an uproar you know it causes some sort of chaos and it cannot be avoided this is the universe saying you must face you must face your own demons you must face the false sense of security you must deal with this confrontation you know if it's not real you have to you have to let it break down you have to let it go you have to start over we do have a fresh start here um, so there is some sort of happy news that is coming. Um, I feel like we have an individual that gets angry. They get really, really angry because they're, I feel like they're dealing with somebody that is trying to control them. And it causes a big, huge fight or uproar or something like that. But it also breaks them free. Hmm. Somebody is, 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 is looking at happiness by the looks of things. It's like they have an opportunity for happiness, but they will have to... Let go of the false, whatever it is that's false. There's something that is false that isn't stable, that isn't secure, that isn't built on a strong foundation. That needs to go. It needs to go. Somebody needs to find their strength. It's not going to be easy. 
It's not easy. It's not easy to rebuild a foundation or to build a new foundation. It's not easy. So I feel like there's there's somebody here that needs to find their strength. And this is lack of strength, lack of willpower, lack of ambition, lack of drive, you know, lack of fear. Somebody may be fearful of rejection, you know, if they, you know, go after their dreams. But my advice is to go after your dreams. Anyhow. This right here is an offer of love. Okay, it really is. Somebody showing feelings, happy news, following their heart, trusting their gut. We have an admirer here, by the looks of things, that is going to be saying something or messaging something. And with that Wheel of Fortune reverse, it, I don't know if, if it's somebody, you know, that may have rejected in the past and they're coming back around. This is being accepted. Somebody is going to be accepted with the Sun card. So there is acceptance here. Acceptance of the need to uh, let go of something, but it looks of things with that tower reversed. I mean, the tower reversed is, I don't know if there's some health problems or they're extremes or there's a fight. It's a painful change. Somebody may be moving. Okay. All of a sudden it's a sudden movement. Okay. All of it cannot be avoided. People will say, Oh, you can avoid it. Oh no, you can't. No, you can't. So there could be a sudden move. Somebody may be suddenly moving because of this uproar that is caused. There is definitely going to be some sort of uproar. But it leads to happiness. It's a breakthrough. I mean, this is a breakthrough. The, it, it really is. We definitely have a breakthrough here, which leads to a new positive beginning after being stuck. Somebody was stuck with that Wheel of Fortune reverse. They were stuck. And they were stuck because of their pride by the looks of things. Oh, there we go. Holding on because of the stability. Holding on for the stability of it. Very, very stubborn. Don't want to let go. It's stable. It's solid. It's secure. It's safe. I'm holding on to it. But they are going to let go because this is too much. This is dropping weight, dropping baggage, um, letting go, not carrying it. I don't want it anymore. Goodbye. And this is Seven of Swords. This is going away. Going away. Somebody has gotten caught, I believe, as well. They may have gotten caught doing something, which is caused, which is causing a release. You know, maybe they got, I don't know what they got caught doing, but they, whatever they got caught or they're getting caught doing is going to, um, result in a drop, dropping, dropping out, letting go, letting this go, letting this go. I'm not going to hold on to it anymore. I don't want to hold on to this anymore. Um, somebody may be also coming clean, maybe coming clean about something, um, Finding a new approach, taking a new approach. I also feel like there's going back, going back somewhere. Somebody may be going back. Holding on, holding on to something. Somebody may be going back to something that they let go because they don't want to let it go. What the hell? They want to hold on to it, but this is dropping weight, dropping, not carrying it, making a conscious change to be honest and upfront. Somebody's going to be honest and upfront. I feel like it's after they get caught though. So anyway, I feel as though there is a message that is coming that 
It's coming from an individual that has a lot of pride. Okay, man or woman. This person uh, is... I don't freaking know. Like, they want a new beginning. They want a new beginning. They want to be given a chance. They want to be given a chance. Good luck. <laughs> 